Michigan State just landed one of the more intriguing quarterbacks in the 2023 class, a sleeper of C2C. He's top six for most of us, and they just flipped him. He decommits from Washington State just a couple days ago, and that is Sam Levitt out of West Lynn, Oregon, where he played high school this past season. Let's take a look at what this means for the Michigan State Spartans. <laughs> Sam Levitt is easily one of my favorite quarterbacks in this class. Listed at 6'2", 195 on, on three. Again, played at West Lynn in Oregon. Actually just won them the state championship earlier this year out of Portland, Oregon. He is a really intriguing quarterback. And again, one of my favorites in this class. He's a sleeper. He is not listed highly on some of the other recruiting services. Yeah, he is QB 10 for on three and is a four star for them. But on 24 seven sports, he is QB 26 and a three star. He is a three star for ESPN and listed as QB 26 for them as well. And he's not even listed for rivals and is a three star for them. We at campus to Canton are very close in junction with, um, on three, we have him, multiple of us have him as a top six. He's a top quarterback, a top 10 quarterback overall in consensus for us here at campus to Ken. Very intriguing story with him as well. Why I think he might have gotten overlooked a little bit by some of these other recruiting services with the way he had to bounce around after COVID. I wrote an article about him and a couple other quarterbacks I feel like have been overlooked in this class. I'll link that below in the description if you guys would like to check that out. When it comes to Sam Levitt intriguing player. He is a legit playmaker. If you go watch his games, he displays great pocket awareness. And while it looks like he can be a bit wild at times behind the line of scrimmage, I would control a little bit of controlled chaos with the way he's able to just make plays with his legs. He can step up in the pocket, but will also take off and run. But most of the time when he is in the backfield, he is buying time and scrambling out of the pocket to make a play downfield. He has a quick release with plenty of zip on it. And when I say plenty of zip on it, he has a 10.56 VOE for us with max VOE, which is a velocity thing that we are trying out here at campus to Canton. That is second in this class behind one JJ Cole. That is how quick that velocity is, that quick zip velocity on his throws. Again, I think he's easily got one of the stronger arms in this class. He can challenge all three levels of the field and hits all three with ease, shows really good touch on his deep throws, and typically hits his players in stride 20, 30, 40 yards down the field. It's nice, I think, for his receivers. If you watch them, they don't have to slow up to catch the ball. They can just catch it right in stride, keeps going, and he can do this off-platform and from multiple arm angles. Now, there are times that I think he does a, he tries to do a little bit too much, but I think that's just the gamer in him personally that just tries to do so much with the ball in his hands and make sure he makes that play. Um, he'll fall, you know, try and make throws falling backwards off his back foot. You obviously don't love to see that uh, because we only see it out of a couple quarterbacks that have been able to make it work. A Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Caleb Williams currently at USC. That doesn't mean that Sam Levitt can't do that. It's just we don't see a lot of that. But he is doing it at the high school level. Uh, I mean, honestly, that's really it. Like, you just love to see him play in structure a little bit more. But that might be a little bit of offensive line, whatever. At the end of the day, Sam Levitt made the plays, and that's the end. That's all that really matters. When it comes to him going to Michigan State, that is where things definitely get interesting. They have Peyton Thorne there who played this past season. And is likely going to be the starter this year. We have no news of him transferring out. Is likely not entering the NFL draft as, as he's not really a guy who's going to get much draft capital. They brought in a high four star in Katen Hauser. Sorry, Katen Hauser last season. You know, does Sam Levitt already jump him? Does Noah Kim, who showed a little bit at times last year, end up taking that job? It's definitely a loaded room. But I think talent-wise, as much as I loved Kaden Hauser in last year's class, I would put Sam Levitt ahead of him. In fact, Sam Levitt graded out ahead of Hauser for me. Going to be very intriguing to see what happens with all these guys because Levitt, very good athlete. I think Hauser's right around the same kind of athlete, but Levitt's a better passer, and I think he's already shown that the high school level. It's going to be very intriguing to see what happens with Michigan State regardless with Thorne. 
Kim, Hauser, and now Levitt in that room. One of my favorite quarterbacks in this class. Good for Michigan State. Good for Sparty. Landing a really intriguing quarterback recruit. He may not sound sexy. may not look sexy if you go look at those 24-7 sports rankings. But you look at campus as a can. He's a top six, seven, eight quarterback in our class, and I think he's really going to be fun for fantasy. Guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. We've got early signing day coverage coming up in just under a week. We'll be live for eight full hours covering all of that recruiting stuff from the fantasy angle. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will talk to you guys again soon.